My dad told me today that he gets asked if he funds my travel. And that just kind of makes me angry. Hi guys, my name is Shayla and I make these videos every Wednesday. I've been traveling full time since 2015. And this Wednesday, I want to talk to you about the number one question that I get asked. How do you travel full time? I get asked it all the, all the time, all the time, all the time. My dad told me today that he gets asked if he funds my travel. And that just kind of makes me angry. If that is your case, do not feel bad about it. That's what you're born into. Kudos. But that is not my case. I have worked since I was 15 and have made this entire thing possible. So there's three main things that I want to tell you about how to travel full time. Before any of that, I think people think I'm just going to say, oh, you just need to hop on this website and apply for this job and then you can do it full time. And the number one thing that I want to tell you, there is not one way to do this. I started this video brainstorming and looking up how other people travel full time. I've seen everything from trading stocks online, rent their house out on Airbnb and sleep in their car for the weekend. They rent their house out for the year while they go travel. I can only speak about my experiences. So in my case, these are my three tips for how I've done it and how you can maybe implement it. And these things are good for anything, not just full time travel. They're good if you want to accomplish anything. So thing number one is, What's thing number one? You need to have an entrepreneurial mind. Taking a lot of risk, uncertainty, uncertainty of the next paycheck, uncertainty of where I'm gonna be in a couple months, uncertainty of where I'm gonna be next week or what I'm doing or what, uncertainty. But just the belief in yourself that you're going to just do it. Like it just is going to happen. And I know that sounds crazy, but that's just what it is. Hustling, I'm always hustling. I'm gonna make this happen no matter what. And I'm just gonna think of a million different ways and I'm gonna network and continue to learn on how I can do this. Working jobs that I I don't necessarily enjoy, but I'm doing them just to make what I want to happen happen. Persistence and commitment. I committed to doing this every single Wednesday. I didn't say for how many years, but I've been doing it for two years already, since 2015. For me, if someone was like, yeah, you should do this every Wednesday for two years, I'd be like, Ugh for two years, that seems like forever. Once it's passed, it's like, oh yeah, I've been doing it for two years. I am notorious for being interested in something and then two months later being like, eh, well you're not gonna get good at anything if you do that. Just start and just be consistent with it and pick something and just go with it because you're going to learn and you're going to meet more people that do it. Thing number two is, what is the money going out? So for me, instead of thinking of how bad do you want this, what are you willing to do? I think of how bad do you want this, what are you willing to give up? I gave up having a home so I have no rent. I gave up coming home to see my family a lot because I want to travel. I gave up having a steady income. What are you paying for car insurance? What are you paying for your car payment? What are you paying for your mortgage or your rent? Or what are you paying for Netflix? My expenses I've eliminated to car insurance, health insurance, phone bill, Spotify. Because <laughs> I need Spotify. Oh, and then like some website domain things. But total, my total expenses every month is probably $200. That has to go out. So you gotta start thinking about money going out and things that you can eliminate. Not buying new shoes all the time. Not going out to eat all the time. We meal prep. So that actually saves a lot of money and time because I don't have to make a meal every single day. Um, Nomadic Matt said to live abroad costs about $1,500 a month. And I would have to agree with that. Get a credit card where you get some sort of benefit. Money back or you make, you get travel points. That's how I buy a lot of my flights. I get discounts using some of my points. I just spend all my money on my credit card and then I pay it off at the end of the month and then that all turns into points. The other thing is, is I fly a lot and that is probably the number one expense which people can't understand but I have the flexibility to buy flights whenever I want. So let's say I was planning on buying a flight mid-February but it's $500 cheaper a week before, I'm gonna go the week before it or I'm gonna go on a Wednesday instead of Saturday so that is not something that everybody can do but that's something that I can do to be able to travel based on the price. I always say you either have time or you have money. And if you're trying to save money, it's usually gonna cost you more time. So the third thing is obviously income, money coming in. And that's what everyone wants to know. How do you have money coming in? I have worked the most random jobs. I worked uh, in Alaska as a server. I worked on the Appalachian Trail, just managing a hot, or like helping in a hostel. I worked in Costa Rica as a yoga instructor. In Puerto Rico at a ho hotel. I've been an au pair in Spain, military base in North Carolina. I've done all the jobs, okay? There's a couple things on how to find those jobs. First thing, just get out there. Just go out there. The jobs that I've had, I could have never even 
even dreamed of. I've created videos for people and gotten paid for it. I've been the host of videos and gotten paid for it. I've done things that I could have never been like, this is what I want to do. They've just come as I've continued to travel and meet people and network and people know what I do. So when you get out there, you're going to start to find these things and find these opportunities you didn't even know existed. The other thing is there's a few websites. <laughs> there's workaway.info. I think it's $30 for the year or something. And you go to hostels and I know people that have traveled Brazil for seven months working in hostels. So they maybe make some money at the bar, but they get to live there and eat there for free in exchange for work during the day. The jobs that I've done, like working in Alaska and working in Costa Rica, those are on Workaway. I've never gone through Workaway to do it, but those are on there. Those are really good ways to be able to travel and see a place and live there for longer. If you want to travel full time, you go live in a place for a month and then go live somewhere else for a month and then go live somewhere else for a month, but you're working while you're doing it. Or you're going and traveling and then you're going back home to work and then you're going and traveling, but then you're paying for the flights. So it's kind of a, you, you just kind of have to figure out what works for you. If you're a, pr a freelancer that can write or edit or make videos, or have some sort of skill like that, get on Upwork and check out the things. And consistency is huge. At first, it might not be easy. People are like, you're new to the site, what can you do? You have to get those jobs and do them for cheaper just to start getting building a resume within the website. There's greatuphair.com, and that is how I was a nanny in Spain for three months. There's woofing, and that is doing farm work in different countries. You can teach English abroad, work on a yacht. You should look into that, that's pretty cool. So you, you can be like a hostess, I think is what they call them. I don't remember. I can't do it because I get seasick, but you could go be a hostess for yachts on Yacht Week or just yachts through the Caribbean. That's like a, that is a real job where people get trained in on how to be a hostess and they get to go on yachts for the week. There are just so many ways and the more you get out there, the more you figure out what you're interested in, what you want to do, you're going to find the things that you want. And I have an online job now. I got that probably a year ago in 2000, the end of 2016. So that was a year into my travels. If you can get in the social media realm, it's easier to get an online job. Now that's helping me a lot and now I'm able to do YouTube and get a little bit from YouTube and work with sponsors and different things like that. So that's, it's going to change a little bit. But for two years, I was able to go from job to job to job while traveling and I just believed that I could do it and I kept networking with the right people and you just have to start. I have a whole playlist of videos of travel tips. I'll put that in the description below. So I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope that you were able to get some information, get a little confidence to get out there. If it was, please share it with somebody else that you think would love it. I look forward to connecting with you guys and I will see you all next week. Also on Friday, I have a bonus video coming out. It might be a giveaway, so stay tuned for that. This is Shayla signing out from Minnesota. Mwah.